Happy, happy birthday, my May babies! I am officially 25 years young. So that means I'm a quarter of a century. So I was trying to think of a video to do for my birthday, and then I thought, top five favorite video game items I would want for my birthday. Eureka, I'm a genius. There were so many video game items I wanted, but I think I narrowed it down to my top five. And just to be fair, it's gonna be one item per video game, so it's not like five Legend of Zelda items, because y'all know me so well. Five. Hmm, if only there was an item that can unlock everything. Oh wait! The Keyblade from the Kingdom Hearts series! It would just make life so much easier, just imagine! Never having to worry about locking yourself out of anything. And you can always get in without... breaking in, per se. doing in our house? Getting some milk? Yeah, no, I'm calling cops. Like hell you are! Keyblades. F -o or Persona 3's Evoker. An Evoker is pretty much a gun that you shoot to your head to summon your persona, or how the manual describes it, a second soul that dwells deep inside a person's heart. It's an entirely different personality when the person is confronted with something outside of their world. I've often wondered what my persona would look like, plus I like the idea of having supernatural things fight for me anyways. Although, I have to admit, if someone gave me an Evoker, which looks like a gun, for my birthday and told me to shoot my head to summon some magical persona, I'd be a little skeptical, I'd be like, ah, you know, this is a great birthday gift, let me check the chamber before I shoot myself. But I guess this is just as strange as getting an oversized key that can unlock the darkness in people's hearts. So... Three! Hair. Yes, for the sake of this video, and because it's my birthday month, I'm counting hair as an item. Could you freaking imagine being able to use your hair to do basic everyday stuff, or use as a weapon? Help me, help me! That man stole my man purse! I'll save you. <laughs> Stop, evildoer. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Thank you. For my man purse. Yeah, I could dig it. Two. Two. A skull from Xenoblade Chronicles X. Guys, I need one. A car just isn't good enough anymore. Fill that bitch up with meranium and I take off. You guys would never see me again. Or better yet, all my videos would be in my skull. Alright, but really, the idea of pretty much piloting a Gundam is amazing. I'll be able to get to point A to point B so much faster by flight. Fuck airplanes, fuck the airport. Like, I'll be able to bring shampoo with me and not worry about being flagged. And most importantly, I'll be prepared when aliens decide to invade whenever that may be. Look at me, always thinking ahead. And before I get to my number one, here are some honorable mentions. Worms Armageddon, the super sheep. I spammed that move so hard back in the day, it was wonderful. Saints Row 4, the dubstep gun. Listen, I've never played Saints Row before in my entire life, but I saw this weapon and I was like, what the fuck, I, what, this, how do you even, I don't even like dubstep, but it's just the idea of using music as a gun it is awesome. Sonic Adventure, the light speed shoes. I need these in my life, but they would be yeah, pointless to me life. because Rings aren't exactly scattered around in my everyday life for me to go fast. Sad face. Dot hack the bracelet. If real life was an MMO, I would have actually put this in one of my top five categories. However, I don't want just some bulky ass bracelet on me 24 seven. But if life was an MMO and I could literally rip data from people and destroy them and turn them into shit. All right, so I, that sounded kind of cynical. Let me reel it back. Point is I can save the world. That, that's what I really meant to say. Yeah. Number one! Okay, so all of you guys are pretty much waiting. Like, wait, where's the Legend of Zelda item? When's the Legend of Zelda item gonna come in? I know it's a Legend of Zelda item. When is it gonna come in? Hmm? 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 
Has to be Majora's Mask, right? We all know it's Majora's Mask. Oh yeah, let us in. Well, guess what? It's actually not Majora's Mask. So ha, tempting. It was so tempting, but it's not Majora's Mask. It's actually in the name, like Majora's Mask, but it's not Majora's Mask. It's The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is something I've always wanted since I can remember. That or Link's sword. And I ain't talking about the sword he pulled out of the pedestal either. To simply put it, I could travel back, slow down, fast forward time, warp, change the weather, change night to day, heal souls, wake shit up, put shit to sleep, summon giants for a game of Uno if I wanted to. And it's lightweight, easy to hide, and it's fucking awesome. Controlling the flow of time is the best. To be fair, Majora's Mask almost took first place, however, I don't like the idea of being, you know, controlled. I want to be the one doing the controlling. It's probably a good thing I don't have Majora's Mask or the Ocarina of Time. I'd mess some shit up. And those are the video games I would want for my birthday. So get on that. Be sure to let me know in the comments section below what you guys wanted for your birthday in terms of video game items. Do we have similar tastes in items or do we not? And if we do have similar tastes and the item happens to be one of a kind, back off it's mine. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out more of my top fives by clicking the top box on the bottom box of my Let's Play channel. I'm currently playing Life is Strange and holy shit, this game is pretty strange. Thanks again, guys, for the love and support, and I'll see you in the next video! Bye! Thank you! For my man purse. <laughs> Here you go, sir! Thank you! For my man purse. <laughs> Damn it! Here you are, sir! Thank you! For my man purse. <laughs> Here you go, sir! Thank you for my man purse.